shot! Woohoo! Right in the melon. Hey, welcome to Demolition Ranch. I am very glad that you're here, and you're gonna be glad you're here too, because I have something super cool. So you've seen this gun before. This is an air gun. So that has a barrel on top and two chambers below that hold air. This is the Samyang Dragon Claw. It's a big bore, 50 caliber air rifle. This thing is the real deal. You can hunt with this thing. You can take an animal with this thing. It's a real gun, but the government doesn't classify it as a firearm. There's no powder, it's just air. See, it's got a little air gauge in the bottom stock right there. It's pretty cool, so I made a video on this like over a year ago. I got this gun from Air Gun Depot, and it's cool. It's really a neat thing, and I showed in that video how powerful it is. And what's cool about today is I went to Air Gun Depot again and got a new one that's even cooler. Introducing the Air Force Texan SS. You'll notice it has what looks like a suppressor on the end of this barrel. And it looks like that because it is a suppressor. This is an integrally suppressed air rifle. Now you might be saying, Matt, that's just an air rifle. Why would you need a suppressor on an air rifle? It can't be that loud. It is way quieter. This gun is way quieter than a regular gunpowder firearm. But this gun is still really loud. Your ears ring after you take a shot. Not like if you shot a gun, a real gun, your ears ring for like 10 minutes after you take a shot. This one they ring for a little while. It's not as loud, but it is still loud. This one is so quiet. In a video it's hard to show you the difference in sound because this microphone will make loud things quieter and quiet things louder. So it kind of makes everything about the same because it makes it a better video. But it's not what I want when I'm trying to show you sound. So what I'm gonna do to try to show you is I have all my quiet guns here. We have the Air Force Texan with the suppressor. We have the Dragon Claw air gun without a suppressor. We have a gunpowder firearm, the FN, FNX 45 with a suppressor. There are still targets down there, but I'm actually gonna be missing them on purpose just so you don't have that ringing steel to deal with. So first we have an unsuppressed 45 ACP. Pretty loud, pretty loud. Now for the unsuppressed air rifle. And now suppressed. Much quieter. Now for the suppressed air rifle. How neat is that? Let's take a few more shots. All you do is open up the breech, you put the bullet in, and you're ready to fire at this thing. Nothing more fancy than that. Let's hit the metal. You see how loud that metal is compared to the shot here? That's what I think is crazy about shooting with anything suppressed, is I never hear the metal ding like that. The metal's usually very quiet compared to the firearm, but with suppressed guns, and especially a suppressed air rifle, the metal dinging is so loud. Let's hit one of the small ones over there. So every time you put a bullet in, it automatically puts the safety on. Click the safety off, you are ready to fire. Ba -ding! This gun has been around for a while, but not the suppressed version. So how do big bore air rifles work, Matt? Good question, let me tell you. So they all have some sort of tank, and this one is really cool, it's integrated into the stock. So my other gun, it's integrated down into the barrel. Either way, seems fine, I mean they both look similar to another gun. It's not like they have a giant tank hanging off of them somewhere. But this one has an air tank right here. And you can see it does have a little gauge right there. At the back it has a plate for your shoulder. No pad or anything on it because it's an air rifle. It doesn't kick much. We have a scope on the top of this one, which in my opinion is a big improvement over the Dragon Claw. The trigger is actually really good in this. The safety is great as well. And then the suppressor on the end. The normal one, the other Texan, had a nice skinny normal looking barrel that came way out here. This one is obviously bigger. The barrel comes out, I'm not sure how far, but a little ways down there. And then there are baffles in here, just like a regular suppressor. I knew you could suppress an air rifle, but I just thought it's so quiet, like how much are you really gonna take off? But it makes it much, 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 much quieter, which is really cool in an air rifle because this thing is 
silent but deadly. So literally all you have to do on this gun is just open this lever which opens up the breech there. You drop, let's see, go a little further. You drop your pill in there, push it up to the front, you close it just like that and this thing is on safe but otherwise ready to fire. Safety off and so what happens when you run out of air, Matt? Great question. So we have a big air tank over here, full of air. We have a little opening here. Plug this thing in, and then you fill her up while you watch the gauge. And we go to 3,000 PSI. And then you close it. This lasts you about, um, I think I've shot like 10 rounds through it. Uh, before I needed a refill, but they will start dropping. Like once you shoot like five, you'll notice that they're not going as fast anymore and so they drop further at longer ranges. We're scooted back about 100 yards away now. Let's see how accurate it is. There's a five inch plate on the far right. Let's see if we can ring it. Ding! Off the table, see if I can hit that big one. The big target is a silhouette, it's about a two-thirds silhouette size target. And it is ridiculously easy to hit with this gun from this range. Oh, gotta take safety off though. We know the gun is quiet, we know the gun is accurate, but is it powerful? That's the question. I know I told you the Dragon Claw is a 50 caliber. I'm not sure if I told you what this one is. This one is chambered in 45 caliber. So the bullets are slightly smaller diameter, but I think they actually weigh more. They seem to be a little bit longer of a bullet. Um, so this is not a 338 Lapua. This doesn't have the power of even a 308. It's an air rifle. And so it's going slower than the gunpowder fired bullets, but it's still pretty powerful. It's more powerful than a 45 ACP, a bullet that's about the same weight. Um, this thing's going faster than that. People, from what the research I've seen online, people liken it to a 45 Long Colt. They say it gives about 500 foot-pounds of energy downrange, which is a lot. I mean, honestly, it's plenty for hunting. So let's test out this power on a few targets. First up, we have a, uh, a two by six that uh, must have washed down during the last rain. It's a little hard to see, but I stuck that two by six sticking out of the dirt over there. I, I think it's gonna go straight through it. I have a feeling. Perfect hit and an exit wound, if it would focus. Cool, okay. So that is what a 45 caliber air rifle will do to a 2x6. So if someone has an Air Force Texan, don't hide behind a 2x6 wall. You will not be safe. All right, how about a watermelon? I got two lined up in a row this time. We know it'll go through one. See if it'll go through those. Wow. It exploded the first one. I had the GoPro recording, but it fell over before the shot, so we got nothing. First one exploded. There it went into the second one and came straight out the back. Let's, uh, I'm gonna do the GoPro again. One more at the last remaining watermelon. It, it may not explode since it's already busted, but maybe the GoPro will catch something cool. I have never actually caught a bullet in this guy. They all go through. It's kind of a soft kind of gel. It's not like, I don't think it's to spec. But maybe, an air rifle bullet won't be going fast enough, plus 45 caliber is fairly wide, so maybe it'll stop in there. I have a feeling it'll go straight through, but we'll give it a go. Also, if you wanna look as good as me, we got hats, we got vet ranch shirts. They look amazing. Description below, ranchmerch.com. Also, these sunglasses are from Shade Tree, um, and uh, they're titanium and wood. And we have a coupon code, uh, Demo Ranch gets you $5 off, goes to help support our channel. So, if you're interested, I think, uh, I think it's gonna go through, even even sideways. I think it will still go through. Ah, oh, yeah. So I was aiming at the widest part, and it went in right there at his shoulder, went all the way through, and out. Um, where did it come out? Right there somewhere. The hole's gone, but you can see that line going all the way through. So that is the only shot going through like that. 
pass through a good 18 inches of gel. So that thing's moving. It will do some damage. So we talked about the coolest part about this firearm is that it's actually not considered a firearm by the US government, right? Which is cool, but it has a suppressor on the end, which we all know suppressors are highly regulated by the US government. It's pretty hard to get a suppressor. So what's the deal? I'll tell you the deal. The deal is a suppressor is any device that's purpose is to quiet a firearm or suppress the noise of a firearm. Since this is not a firearm, this suppressor, its job is not to suppress the noise of a firearm, its job is to suppress the noise of an air gun. So this suppressor is not classified as a suppressor by the United States government. This entire gun is unregulated by the United States government, which is pretty cool. Loophole much? You know what else is cool is since this is not a real firearm, based on the laws, you could make one that's fully auto with a suppressor and the US government would go, okay, even a big bore, even one that's capable of taking down deer. US government would say, yeah, it's, it's not a firearm, so we don't care. So that is why I think this is one of the coolest rifles in my collection. That was spray paint cans. <laughs> you guys know I like unique guns and this one definitely fits the bill. I wanted to say thank you to Air Gun Depot for introducing me to the world of big bore air rifles. Amazing. I have nothing bad to say about this gun. I will leave a link in the description below. To go check it out. It's freaking awesome. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby?